Since having my hair dyed pink, I've been referring to myself in the third person as Pinky and calling my dad Brain. Or the Brain. We're a weird family. Or I'm just weird. This, by the way, is the dye that I used. I don't know if it looks anything similar. Not really. Well, no, yeah. <laughs> it's just a bit less photoshopped because I'm pretty sure that this girl doesn't have this colour hair. This looks like Photoshop or something. It's the tiniest little box ever. Uh, the colours from this brand come in this small box. And this is actually the cheapest one. The others are around £5, this is £2.75. Don't know what that says about this colour. That was a little colour guide that I got. So I wasn't entirely sure how this was going to turn out. Because my hair was not like that. I mean it was bleached, which is what that text says if you can't read it. But it has, you know... I'll leave you to decide where that's come out because I think my hair looks really pink but it does look red um, in some lights and in cameras and photos. I went back to the shop today to go and get some Pepsi and some other things and I came back with two pairs of tights, some eyeshadow which is called Twilight Zone by Rimmel. There's a silver, a black and a white and the black is matte and the other two are shimmery. Uh, this was displayed for 5 99 I got it for 1 49 And some felt tip pens. Washable. Lavable. Does that mean I can stick it in lava and it will be fine afterwards? I'm just kidding, by the way. I know that's not what it means. I don't know what it means. Oh, look at this. Oh, they look so amazing. I'm dropping them everywhere. Look. It's not a good idea. I need them for revision and stuff. I've lost all the coloured pens that I had. Well, I haven't lost all of them. Which ones do I have left? I have an orange one. This is a fine tipped one to write with, but these super tips aren't too bad uh, in terms of thickness. Uh, a brown one. Black pen, black pen, red pen. And... What's that colour again? Orange and brown. I just threw the pens everywhere. Having pink hair is cool, but there are some bad things about it. One, I think it attracts every living bug creature ever. Two, it makes me seem more confident than I am. I mean, I'm rocking two different shades of pink here. It's really overexposed right now. Me. Nee. That was really unattractive. I'm sorry about that. I mean, I'm walking down the street and I'm thinking, why are all these people looking at me? Oh yeah, I have pink hair. Now I feel like I should go kick a bin to fit in with some stereotype. Oh, if you have pink hair, you're cool. I'm not cool. This is a facade. All of it. Just kidding, it got too bright. Oh god, this is not cool. See, I've still got like brown in here. Doesn't matter, it's only temporary, I'm not about to bleach it all out and do it again. Oh my gosh! And number three, it's really difficult to find clothes that go with anything. I mean, when I had purple hair, it was sort of difficult because I love how you can see the reflection of my room. It was only difficult because I newly bought these shoes which were purple. They were the love of my life and then I dyed my hair purple. So I had to sort my hair out and go from purple to brown. I'm gonna go. And I'll see you when I eat toodles. That sounded weird, but I was trying to subvert your expectation of what I was going to say, so I was going to say toodles. But it would have been weird if I'd just gone, I'll see you when I toodles! Bye.